Hello friends, welcome to our today's session on Apache Spark. In this episode, we will cover a real-time based scenario on Apache Spark. So the scenario here is, we need to split up a single column into a multiple column as shown here. I will show you. Like here you can see a name column in our screenshot and this name column has been separated with commas like first name, middle name and last name are separated with commas and what our logic needs to be done and what our requirement is like take this name column split it into a three column based upon comma and show it as first name middle name and last name separately in a output like a single column has to be split into a multiple columns in our output that is what our requirement is uh, we can do this in many ways i will show you the efficient ways that we can handle uh, for this scenario and I will take uh, Spark with Scala as a programming language since most of you guys requested me to do some video on Spark with Scala I am doing this video and uh, for PySpark solution I will provide a link to my blog where you can uh, find a same solution I mean like a solution for the same requirement in uh, PySpark as well so that being said let us move on to our Databricks page and we can uh, move ahead with our demo We are into my Databricks Community Edition account. I have already started the cluster and also created the notebook. Here you can see I have selected Scala as a programming language. So let me walk you through each and every step to understand how we go through the input file and how we achieve the requirement that we have today. And for creating an input, I am using sequence and I am passing it as a list to create a data frame. So I will create a list first from this and then I will create a data frame input data frame so I am creating it with the four columns name DOB uh, gender and salary and also I am printing the schema here and you can see the name column that we are going to deal with is of type string and also in name column you can see it is a comma separated uh, array I mean like a comma separated string and uh, this comma separated string has to be uh, split it into a multiple columns uh, that is what our requirement is and let us see how we can achieve this and what are all the methods methods available to do this so the first method is a straightforward one we can directly split it based upon comma and we can select each and every elements one by one so let me show you how we can do that so as a first step i am importing a split function so this split function i will use it in select statement so df dot select selecting all the columns and then I'm using split method so inside this the first parameter will be the column name name is our column name and then it has to be splitted based upon comma and then I'm giving alias name as elements so after this the next step I am printing the schema of the above output above data frame and again this to this data frame I am adding a width column and adding whatever the columns that we need first name middle name last name and then uh, here i'm using an identifier get item and passing the index of each and every elements that we need so here as you can see uh, we have only three elements and i am passing 0 1 2 to the get item and i am finally dropping the elements so let me run this and i will show you a uh, few things so here you can see our input uh, data frame of name column is of type string but whereas after splitting it our element has changed into array type so the split option has changed the column into a type array of string and uh, here after that I have dropped that element and I had used with column to achieve the requirement that we have today so see here you can see the name column is finally splitted into three columns first name middle name and last name as required so this can also be achieved like uh, the identifier is not required get item identifier can also be ignored to achieve this result so here i am simply giving element of 0 element of 1 of element of 2 as well so this as well will give us the same result and also we can use element at function that is available in spark to get the elements in each and every position 
but here you have to remember you can't use the index value that is available like in the above method you had given 0 1 2 but whereas here you have to give it as 1 2 and 3 here in element at the 0 index will not be available so the syntax is element at the first parameter will be the column name uh, this column name has to be array of string and the second parameter should be the position so this is what the syntax is let me run this and you can see this also gives us the same result that we need but here you can see for each and every column I am using with column uh, and I am adding it whether we have any automated way without adding a with column uh, without uh, having many and many of lines in the code uh, can we reduce the number of lines in the code to do the same process so yes we have uh, like uh, the list comprehension that is available in python we can do the same thing here to automate it so let me show you in the first line you can see i am giving a desired column and i am creating a list so this list is nothing but a schema kind of thing i am passing a first name middle name and last name into this list so after this i am taking a size of this list it will obviously be 3 we know and then from here i am iterating it through this is the place where i am creating a list comprehension path so far i ranges from 0 till uh, the size of the desired column i need to pick up all the elements i need to extract all the elements using the get item and then i am assigning a value i am giving an alias name as desired column of i so in this way it will get all the columns so this column list i am passing it to the df underscore name split uh, data frame that we have df underscore name split is nothing but the one which we applied the split operation so this line you can see the split function that we have applied and created a data frame which is called name split to this i am giving a select and I am passing this column list and extracting all the columns that is available so let me run this you can see I am able to extract all the columns that is inside the name column so in this way we will be able to achieve this but we do have one issue with this uh, method I will explain you what is the issue say for example my data instead of uh, James comma a comma Smith my data is like James comma a comma b comma smith so uh, here james is a first name a comma b is a middle name and smith is a last name so uh, still i have a three columns but the middle column is separated with comma again so if that is a situation then whether this split method split function is able to solve this let, her, uh, let us understand that so for that again i am creating a data frame but with different uh, name i am creating df underscore s So you can see my input name column is having James, A comma B and Smith and uh, I had used the same code here as well. I am not doing anything. I am just copy pasted it and let me run this again and now you can see the, require, uh, the output got changed. The middle name instead of A comma B it is just displaying quotes A and last name it is displaying B quotes. So there is a bug in this we will not be able to get a required output like if you have a, a comma in a column if you have a comma in inside a column then you will not be able to get the exact result that you want when you are using split method and to solve this problem we do have another solution we do have another function in spark let me explain you that as well so that comes the method to to use from csv so for that I am using the I mean like I am importing the libraries uh, as a first step I am importing all the types that we need uh, string type struct type struct field and then the functions from CSV and call so a couple of things I am extracting 
so this implicit it will be by default will be uh, imported i mean like it will be added in the databricks but if you are using the uh, intellij ide or else some other cloud or hortonworks platform then you have to import it explicitly uh, it it will not be imported and as a next step i am creating a schema so here you can see i am creating a schema of struct type and adding all the columns to it uh, as a string type columns first name middle name and last name and let me run this let me run the import statement first and then let me run the struct type and now here comes the syntax for splitting the multiple columns splitting into multiple columns using from csv so here as in the first line i am defining the options uh, like it is simple as like spark.read.csv here also you can specify the options that you want like if you want it as a separator you can sp uh, specify scp by default the separator is comma but since i wanted to explain you i had made scp as comma and if you need to ignore the quotes i mean like if you need to have a escape sequence uh, then you can uh, give escape uh, quotes and then if you want to trim white line white space then you can give trim white space those every options that is available in uh, uh, spark.read.csv those things that you can give it here as well but here you have to give it within map uh, comma separated as i have shown here in the commented line and you can uh, pass it so in inside from csv the first parameter will be the column name the column name that has a comma separated file so here you can see i am directly using df i am directly using the source i am not using the uh, splittered uh, data frame here i am directly using a uh, input data frame dot select and then i am selecting all the columns from there and apart from that i am using csv method inside that the first column will be a name column and the second parameter will be the schema that we have created in our above step uh, with first name middle name and last name and the third parameter will be the options so this options in this options i had specified only the separator of comma and then i'm giving uh, alias name as value parsed let me print the schema as well so this will be of uh, struct type of array so let me print that for you guys to understand so i had printed it so let me run this So here you can see my value parsed is of struct type and inside the struct type I have a strings. So this is how the uh, input is. I mean like this is the input and uh, this is how my output is. This is the required output that we need James A. Smith. But let us try with the issue that we had the above issue that we discussed. Let us see how this gets solved in our uh, CSV. So the input is df underscore s yes, is. So let me copy this data frame name and let me paste it here. Instead of df, I will put it as df underscore is. And uh, here as well, let me put df underscore is. And let me run this. So it got completed. And now you can see still the uh, value parsed is of struct type and here the input has james a comma b smith and in my output data frame you can see james a comma b and smith so this is how the issue get resolved in from csv hope you guys understood this concept better uh, please do try this in your own machine and let me know if you face any issues i'm happy to help you guys uh, thank you for watching this video Please do subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up signal if you really like my content. Thank you.